hey guys welcome back to the channel guys thank you all for your kind words of you know that you gave to me when i lost pia it's pretty early still i've been kind still like he passed on wednesday wednesday thursday friday today is saturday so it's four days now since pia has passed guys last night was friday night i cried i cried i cried but i'm getting there thank you guys thank you so 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 very much guys appreciate the the support and the kind words and all of that guys <clears throat> it's not been easy at all it's not been easy definitely not, not been easy i think it's the first time i've been so close to one of my cats because I don't think the first two cats that I had before, I don't think that they, they had stayed with me long. Sarah! Sarah! Can you just see this cat? <laughs> she took over now, you know, guys. She took over now. She's the boss of the yard now. She's the boss of the home. Stop, man. Let me talk to the people. Let me talk to the people. Guys, when Pia died, like, let me see, like the second day, I said, Pia, Sarah, I'm calling Pia, Sarah, stop, please, stop, stop. She comforted me, she really comforted me, guys, I'm telling you, she comforted me, it was, stop, no, let me talk to the people, let me talk to the people, please, in peace, let me talk to them in peace, please. Please, I want to talk to the people. Give me a minute. Let me talk to them. Yeah, guys, she comfort me. I was surprised. I was really surprised how she comfort me, guys. And um, I think last night when I was crying, she was looking at me. I was like wondering if she realized what was going on. I don't know. I really don't know if she do. But like um i asked myself whether cats know that something actually happened to their their team member and they do guys sarah she wasn't when pia was sick she knew that he was sick and when i didn't bring him home she knew that something wrong i actually told him that he died i don't know if that if they understand what what that means but but sarah was very very um sensitive to what was going on she wasn't eating when pia was sick she wasn't eating she didn't eat her food that day and when i came back home that time she started you know eating a little until like the next day you no know, she actually started eating her food but she wasn't too back on top of like being herself she wasn't back to being herself until like the next day so when I came home Wednesday, she ate a little food, but she still wasn't back to normal. I think like both Thursday now, she was like going back. So now I think she's back to herself. It's like they don't mourn very long, but they do know and sense things that is going on. So yeah, cats do are very, you know, sensitive to things like that, but it don't last long. But however, I'm surprised at this that the mother of the cat she show no no concern she show like you know i don't know if she know what's going on because she didn't she eat her food just the same she do everything normal i didn't see any changes in her behavior she was just like absolutely like she was clueless that's how, how it goes that's how it looked to me that like she was clueless as to what was going on with the cat that she even know that he was sick she, n nothing changed guys so i'm like wondering if she's okay <laughs> i'm like you have your old child and you're not even sure that you care nothing i don't know sarah show more concern about it more than the mother cat she, the day she eat her food she gone outside next day she eat her food she just do things like it's normal so tell me if I'm wrong if some cats show it while well, some cat don't. But I don't know. I think 
I think she never care. That's all I think that she never care. But Sarah really did care, and it showed in her in her behavior that she did care. So the question: Does cat know when another cat is sick or when another cat dies? Yes, they do know. Some cats are more sensitive towards it, while some are not. Yeah, but where, where, where? Me and Sarah, we are taking it one day at a time. We're taking it one day at a time. I think she is back to normal. But as for me, it's going to take me a very long while. It's going to take me a very long while to get back to normal, guys. Because me and this cat was so close. We were close. We were very close. I don't know. I tell myself that I don't, I don't want to get close to no more cats. But I already have cats. I... I... I don't know. It's like I just want to keep them at a distance now. Because I don't want to get close to them. Like, like really, really, really close. Because I fear this feeling that I have inside. Know that when they die, I'm going to die too. I'm going to cry so much. But Sarah, um, she's not going to let that happen. Because she loves me so much. We love each other. We love each other, Yeah. But yeah guys, we are doing much better. This is just an update video to, to, to let you know what is going on. Thank you for the love and the support guys. Really appreciate it so so very much. I hope you are having a, a lovely time whenever you are watching this video guys. So thank you. Peace guys. Like, comment, subscribe guys. And I'll see you in my next video. I don't know what video we are going to do. <laughs> but we'll find something guys. So... Hope you did enjoy listening to me, you know, unwinding, you know, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Bye.